Hi, I'm Dan Van Buskirk, and I'm the co-founder of Haven Hounds and Vets Empowered Now. And I'm a Vietnam vet and Marine. And my inspiration for this program is to reach out to veterans and help them in their readjustment on the tough journey home. Hi, I'm Linda Bobbitt, and I'm a certified professional uh, dog trainer. And I've gotten involved with service and therapy dog training. And I had a short experience out at Camp Pendleton watching the interaction between veterans and dogs. And that's what got me really started in thinking that uh, this could be advantageous. You're a hero to me. All the years you were away are not forgotten by America today. Stood for the flag and liberty. In our heart, you did your part to keep our country free. <clears throat> okay, uh... Yeah, it's okay. Papa's fine. You want your snackers? No? Okay. <laughs> okay it's okay, buddy. I know, you're nervous now. Sit. 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 There you go. No four-legged friends until we get this over with. So, Rally, how long have you and Kronos been together? Uh, Kronos and I have been together for, let's see, 22 months now. I got him when he was about seven weeks old. We started training uh, when he was about eight, nine weeks old. And um, he's been a godsend for me. Um, I had been looking for a service dog for probably three years prior to getting him and exactly how that process would happen, but I wanted a, a dog of size. I, um, here's your snacker, I know. Um, yeah, I know you wanna say hi. Um, I wanted a big dog. I had had labs and retrievers as a kid, and Kronos, come here. Come here, buddy, I know, I know, buddy. I know. Um, so when I found a, a breed that I liked, which was the English Mastiff, <laughs> um, went to visit the, the breeder in Whitewater, Wisconsin, and I met both the mom and dad that they were going to breed together, and then after uh, they were done, um, we went and picked out uh, Kronos out of a litter of 12, um, and then after he came to live with with, live with me at seven weeks. Um, like I said, we started training with, um, and he picked up everything really quick. You know, we did basic training with uh, the Petco right near my house at first, and then uh, with his basic obedience, and then we started his service training for what I needed him for directly with my balance when I don't have my prosthetic on opening and closing doors um, if I was ever in my wheelchair and things like that. Um, and then uh, we found out like four months later that he was not a purebred English Mastiff. We found out that he was a hybrid English Mastiff Irish Wolfhound breed, which explained a lot to his longer fur. Kronos, it's okay, buddy. I know. You want to say hey to your four-legged friends. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um... But uh, since I've had him, I've, um, you know, I've been a little more willing to go out in the public um, because I, I'm more of a recluse without him. I stay close to my own four walls, as I say, and um, he's helped me with navigating things. Kronos, it's okay, buddy. It's okay. Come here. Come here. Come. Oh, yeah. Okay. Give me your boss. Um, but he is, 
he's he's helped me in more ways than I think he even knows. You know, um, just with my my depression and my anxiety that I have um, in public, um, he's helped me with that. He's um, now that he has some size to him. Like when I'm in the shower, he stands next to me in the shower um, when I don't have my leg on and I can use him as a balancing post. Or if I'm crawling around the house, he is now starting to learn that I need my leg and he will go pull it to me. Um, because it's just something that he realizes that's what I'm going for, so he just does it automatically for me now. It's not something that we actually formally started training him with him he just realizes it, that I need it so he starts bringing it to me um, on his own um, and then um, you know in he just turned two on the 27th of this past month um, and he is still doing very well he has his puppy moments like right now he loves meeting other dogs um, he loves going to the dog park um, we don't do that very often where he's not without his vest on or he's not working but when he's not he is all about meeting new dogs um, he really does really well with the small dogs because he's still a puppy himself um, with the larger dogs he kind of is confused like this dog's as big as me but I don't understand why they don't want to play <laughs> um, uh, Riley you um where did you do your service? I um, was with the 101st Airborne Division out of Kentucky with the 1st of the 502nd Recon. I did three years um, with them. I had um, shattered my ankles um, during a training exercise. And um, shortly after that, um, I started going to PT and things like that. And then they made me my, the unit armor due to my unit was being deployed to the Sinai Peninsula in Egypt. So after my unit left for Sinai, I was discharged from the service. I started having surgeries in 2004 um, due to complications. And then in 2010, they ultimately amputated my right leg um, due to those surgeries that I had had. Well, what do you think you'll be without Kronos? I would probably truly be a recluse. I would not leave my house. I mean, he forces me to get out of the house and do things. And, you know, he um, he knows when I my anxiety gets high, he will push me away from people. He will put his head between my legs and he will just keep pushing and pushing until either I finally start walking away or whatever the situation is, we're far enough away from it where I can continue my day. But he is, um, he's done so much for me. Um, just, you know, we have our moments of him kicking me out of bed um, because he thinks it's his, um, to if I leave him in the house just to go get the mail, he will give me more love than I think I deserve at times because it's like I wasn't gone long enough. But he won't, you know, that two minutes that it takes me to go get the mail, he will just jump on me and just lick me like crazy. Yes, you will, won't you, buddy? Mm -hmm. oh, boy. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. you. And thank you, Kronos. And Kronos. thank you for your service. Thank you. Good boy, Kronos. I know you just want to say hi to four-legged friends. That's all you want, isn't it? Yeah. Are you ready to go? Are you? Let's go. <laughs>